All right, today we're gonna to go over and brand the calves over at my dad's house. I had a bunch of business meetings this morning, so I was unable to help them get the calves in and sorted off. So they're gonna be sorted off when we get there. And we'll saddle up Calabar, who has not been ridden in a week. And hopefully we can just go rope these things and he acts okay. <laughs> <laughs> Calabar is a horse I've been riding now for almost a full year and he's pretty inexperienced at all this kind of stuff but last year every time I'd rope a calf he would totally freak out so we're hoping I'm hoping that this year he does a much better job he's had a lot more riding under his belt He's much more experienced at just being around saddles and we've drug stuff around on him a little bit. So we're gonna find out how he does. All right, well, it's gonna be a family affair. I'm, I'm gonna rope a couple of them on here. There's one that's small though, so Hessen might tackle that one. Yeah. You know, and Gavin's gonna be wrestling and then dad and dad and Casey over there be Brandon. There's only, what is it, how many is there? One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight. eight. It's just eight? Yeah. Huh. There's one in there. Yeah. yeah. There's one that there's one that got through the sorting. Okay. But they were pretty So they'll should go pretty fast. Be good for him to rope a, a few just kind of general ones. I don't know if they're rope, general. Rope but a what? Rope rope a what? General ones. Uh I, you you almost said something. What did I say? Rope rope a rope a <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> you almost said the M word. I did not. <laughs> well, there's, um... You know me. There's two in here. One in the way and one in the Alright, let's see how much of an idiot he decides to be today. There you go. It's a lot better with that. <laughs> if he does this good, that'll be all right. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he did really good. Gavin. Gavin, hold on. Yeah, see there? Good boy. Good job, Mark. Calabar. Good, good boy, man. man. He didn't even good. freak out and run across the pen like he usually does. <laughs> Many people view branding as a cruel thing that we do to animals for no reason. But really, cows are, most of the time, the only income that a rancher has. Unless he diversifies and does something else, this is his property that he only makes income on. So without that, the land that he has goes into development or something else. So keep that in mind when you're watching this. Also, branding takes literally, at the very most, four hours out of a calf's life, from start to finish, being separated off and branded, which is about similar to the amount of time that we spend as a baby at the doctor's office being circumcised and patted around and everything that we do, and dentist chairs. Um, it's, it's something that you have to go through, and it lasts a very, very short period of time in their life. So a brand makes a mark on a calf's hide that can't be removed. Ear tags can be ripped out or cut out. Lots of other types of identification can be, but a brand is right there on the skin. It's easy, cheap, ineffective way to, to mark an animal, horse or a cow, with somebody's mark that can prove, I own this animal. Oh, 
what I'm doing here is I'm letting a little bit go just to keep it the right tension because my horse won't keep it exactly right. So if he pulls too hard, I can let it slip like, like this. See? Yeah. Like, I can bend it place like that. See, I can let it slip just like that. So I keep the same tension. Okay, ready? All right, so we just have the one out there then, huh? Okay, go ahead. Just get his back leg. Go right up the back leg. Right there, right there. Jump in there and grab it. Hip. Grab the hip down to the bottom. No. You got to grab the bottom of the leg. There you go. You got to go quick like that. He ain't going to kick anything. He's too little. All the way down, all the way down. There you go. Pull him. Pull him. Pull him. Pull him. Pull him. Now Ooh. flip him over, flip him over. Do that. Just, hey, want, just pick up. You want me to flip him over? Yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> there you go. Hold the back leg, Gav. Yeah. Aston. There you go. Put your. Hold on, hold on. Sit down. Uh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Let's pull him over here so he doesn't have to sit in this crap. Let him up. <laughs> okay. There you go. Sit down, rubber. On your butt. Yeah. Your butt and pull on this leg and push your foot. Right yeah, he needs a rubber. No, you know, no, 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 no. Other way. Get you kicked right there. Yeah. 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 You need to go. Uh, there you go. There you go. Sit, sit down. down. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. Behind him. There you go. On your butt. Behind him. And put your legs out. You put this leg out too. Get push that leg. Right other leg. Right other leg. Right other leg. Right that one leg goes right in the hole. Other leg. Switch legs. There you go. There you go. You want him to get grab that bottom leg? No, that's the one he needs right there. Okay. Okay. Let me grab a. There you go. Rubber. You got me in the thigh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got me in the bruise. So we got to flip him over. Yep. No. Oh, you got to flip him. Yeah, because we got to get him on the other other side. I he see. needs an air tag. Yeah, yeah he does. Here, should we flip? Flip He's him, gotta him over get first. Him over. Huh? See how we're gonna do this. Here, just go like this. Grab this leg. Okay. Let him up. Watch out. Watch out. No, you you get up. There you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't, don't bend his leg like that. Okay. Get your, get on your other foot, other foot. There you go. There you go. Now put your put your both hands in front of the leg, because that's where it's. It, he can kick this way. So if he kicks, you don't take your. Don't don't wrench it. Don't wrench the leg. Just hold the leg and lean back. I guess. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Make sure you hook your heel on. Yeah, down below the the foot. on this. Right here, right there. Okay, go ahead and brand it off yep. holding. It is really an art to holding a calf and maneuvering a calf without hurting the calf. So you have to teach that, and it's not something that comes natural. You also have to be aware that the calf can injure you. I myself am missing a front tooth because of doing this very thing. No, don't kneel right on him, kneel over him. Yep. Uh, 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 Cry, baby. Uh, uh, there you go. Got it? Good? Okay. Let him out. There you go, little guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're yeah. a feisty bugger. Where did he kick you? Right here. Oh, right on your thigh? Or it's one of these two. I can't feel it there, anymore. There, good initiation there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. A lot of times, Brandon is more, it is a lot about getting your horse used to cattle and things jerking on it and everything. It's one of the best ways that you can do to get a horse used to roping calves. Because if the first time you do it is out on the prairie and they're spooky like this horse is, then you can have major issues because he'll but last year when i was doing this every time i'd rope one he'd just freak out and this year he's not freaking out at all he's doing really well so doing this kind of thing where you're in a nice controlled environment in a pen really helps them it really benefits these young horses hey buddy Hey bud, I was just gonna, we're gonna go up and get some lunch. So I was just gonna throw this halter on him a minute instead of, cause otherwise he'll probably figure out how to get that 
le uh, that rain un untied from that pen and then drag it through the crap and step on it. So I'd rather him not do that. Hello? Hey! Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm... Yeah, sorry. I, I gotta stand behind this horse here to block the wind. There you go. Well, I don't know that we did enough work to deserve lunch totally, but we're gonna come up here and get some lunch anyway from my mom. When you're doing this kind of stuff, usually she'll cook something in here. So when you're going into somebody's house and you just been around walking around in the corral crap, good idea to take your boots off. Even farm and ranch wives appreciate that. Hey. I'm a little sweaty. All right, you getting some food there, buddy? Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna replenish those muscles from that one calf that you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, wrestle, you're on a horse. You have to wrestle another one, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna ride one. Cause that's a boot oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess I am on a horse, so I'm not doing as much work as, let's say, somebody who wasn't on a horse. Right, Dad? Yep. But I was having to film the whole time. You yes. Know, that's hard. He was filming, which is difficult. <laughs> All right, well, we've eaten some hamburgers and hot dogs and solved a lot of the problems of the world now. Yeah. Usually that's what happens around the table. We've come up with all the solutions for the world's problems. Solved world hunger, yeah, poverty, pretty much everything. World government, got it all down. So now we can go back out and get the rest of them branded. <laughs> Do some actual work. <laughs> Forget about this this lowly stuff like you know world hunger and stuff. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Gavin decided he would. He was trying to make his modernist jeans back to like yeah. some of this modern stuff. I'm styling it modern. You know, with the high slit, starting yeah. right here. Air conditioned. Air conditioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really cool. That's right. That looks be, looks good. I'm not sure your mom will go for that style. But... No, probably not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of greens, you yeah. got brown stains. Brown yeah, that's right. Greens, yeah. All right. Well, you ought to come down. Hey. Can I bring a bubble? Hopefully, my hat doesn't. Got to get the, the young one to give me a ride back to the barn where I tied the horse up. He doesn't buck me off. Right, Heston? Yep, sure. I don't want him to buck me off. I just said, yeah, because you said, like, I don't know exactly what you said. <laughs> so we still had a couple more calves to get in the pen and then brand. And then we had to spray the cows with no shoot. Is that him? Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. good shot. <laughs> this is the wrong side. Yeah, that's the right yeah, side. It is. It's the left side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Been out of school for two months. Yep. Yeah. Without a chute or a squeeze chute of some kind, it's hard to run these calves or these cows through something and give them a spray of poron, which kills all the parasites and the flies. So what we're doing is we're gonna just kind of squeeze them in a corner in case he's gonna just give them all each a dose before we turn them out. And then we'll try the same thing with the cows. Yeah, get that one, there you go. Good. Stay, keep, keep those in. Yep. 
Not too fast. There you go. Yep. Good. 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 This one right here. There you go. And the one right behind it. And the one right in front of you, too. One right in front of you. Nope. Brown one. Trying to do this same yep. thing with the cows is quite a bit more dangerous. So some of the cows have horns. You have to get them in a really tight area. They're taller. They can kick harder and out way further. Yep, yep. So it, it does get a little hey. tricky here. The object here is just to get them in a tight space and have them move past Casey one at a time so he can squirt them on the back as they go by. Oh. Well, we should have. We should have. She just got by, but I thought it was a little late there. Here you go. The blue cow's already done. There we go. There was one more thing we had to do yep. because there was one big calf in here that came Sell in it. kind of late August last year that needs to be weaned. So we're just gonna sort her off right now. Hey cows, hey cows. Go that way. If you get another one, it's fine. Let them in, just let them in. Let them all in. Then we can get her out of there. Yeah, that happens. Yep, yep. Okay, now we can put her in uh, like one of these pens, Dad. Stick her in, in there. Yep. See the gate. See the gate. See the gate. There. there. Took her a little while to see the gate. Let's turn these in with the caps, and then we'll turn them out the corner gate over there. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, hey. Hey, cow. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hey. Hey, cow. Yep. Hey, cow. Hey, cow. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hey. Hey. There you go, cow. Yep. Hey, cow. Yep. The poor girl. Look at that. She's always trying to. She's trying to pick her foot up because she thinks there's something underneath it. It's just her bag is so big. That's got to be painful. Okay, Gav. Uh, when Heston's gonna go over there and open that gate, and then you can let him out this corner right here. When he when he gets that open, then you open this gate. Now we've got these, these branded. We're, we're gonna move them. They were in that pasture, but we're gonna turn them loose into that pasture where all the grass is, where they fix that fence up there along the railroad tracks. You probably can't hear me because the wind is blowing like a ton of a buck. But... So Gavin, Gavin, yeah, go over like by the, well, Probably right about there first, and then run if they get ahead of you. Come on, calves. Hip, hip, hip. There you go. Oh, I see that. 
Come on, calves. Hip, hip, hip. Come on, calves. Hip, hip, hip. Come on, calves. Hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Yeah. <laughs> That's not that big a deal. <laughs> he did. Okay. Hip, hip, hey! Hey! You gotta go right through that gate over there, so looks like they're gonna be all right. You're gonna go right for it. Yep. Hey! Hey, calves! Yep! Yep! There you go. Okay, let me run and get those two. These two are the wild ones here. So we'll get them going up the fence line here. Oh, don't jump the fence. And stop pushing them right here because when you're pushing them, they might not see the gate. So if you stop pushing them, usually they'll be able to see it. There you go, there she goes. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So much grass out there compared to what there usually is. Yeah. All right, that's it. All right, just gotta put a set of back shoes on this horse to get him ready for tomorrow. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Oh. He didn't even he freaked out once and that was because dad was trying to shake the flag right underneath his nose. Like, no, I don't blame you. Probably run you over. <clears throat>